this baby up and take a look at the Elecro. Hey folks, welcome to Digital Rancher. Today we're talking about the Elecro ThinkNode M1 with the optional factory case. This is a $54 LoRa device that turns your phone into an off-grid comm solution using Meshtastic. Sure, there are many Meshtastic nodes to choose from these days. I'm going to break down the key features that set this node apart and why with all the options available, I think it warrants consideration for a place in your emergency communications plan. The M1 is a handy size. It's approximately three inches by two inches by one inch with the antenna adding another inch and a half. It weighs in at about three ounces with a 1200 milliamp hour battery. The small form factor fits in a go bag, your vehicle's console, or an organizational pack for storage and easily transfers to your backpack, your bando, or your pocket for carry. Getting this with the factory case option means it's ready to go out of the box. No assembly, no soldering, no 3D printing. This is not a kit. It's preloaded with Meshtastic and ready to go. Just pair it with your phone and you're off and running. Now let's talk about the features that win. Here are the five reasons you may choose this device over another. Number one, the rugged case. The injection molded ABS plus PC case is a hybrid tough plastic used in rugged devices and the automotive industry. It's a structural shell that protects the electronics. It has a smooth matte finish and it feels substantial. It feels like it would survive you driving over it on the trail with your truck tires aired down. There's nothing flimsy about this case. It's heat resistant, durable, and hard. It's not IP rated, but I have no concern storing this device in my truck in the Texas heat or using this device outdoors. Number two, the e-ink display. The 1.54 inch display is always on. It's ultra low power and easy to view in direct sunlight. I'm not a huge fan of displays on Meshtastic devices. They're just not necessary in most cases. All they do is drain your battery. For most functions, you need to utilize an app to do anything productive. If you are going to have a screen, choosing one that is low power, is viewable in direct sunlight, and includes a dimmable backlight will ensure optimal readability at any time, day or night. Pair it with the next feature and you have the ultimate screen implementation on a mesh device. Number three, it's Ink HUD compatible. This device supports the alternate Ink HUD firmware that provides user selectable applets. These are presentation options you can turn on or off. Some examples include this crude map that shows the relative position of all the nodes, as well as nodes your device can see, but that are beyond your hop limit. That could be very helpful. Uh, there's a channel messages applet showing you the last few messages in either channel. That's for channel zero or channel one. There's a recents list showing you nodes that are heard, the signal strength or hops and distance from you. And then there's also one for direct messages. The Ink HUD provides a quick glance and go option that provides unique information over the standard firmware. Hey folks, before releasing this video, I updated the firmware on the M1 to version 2.7.15, and I noticed a change to the positions applet. Previously, nodes were represented on the map by different size X's based on the number of hops from your location. This was somewhat confusing. In the update, nodes are represented by boxes and the number of hops away is clear and obvious. Also, the nodes that were beyond your hop limit were shown as exclamation points, where now they're represented as X's. 
This update is much more intuitive. I also want to mention that it appears the SOS function is no longer available in this firmware or the prior firmware. I have been unable to initiate that function as outlined in the M1's documentation. I think we're all getting used to the fact that as firmware evolves, so will the features. Okay, let's get back to the video. Number four is a built-in real-time clock. The M1 has its own RTC, thus enabling GPS hot starts for faster GPS acquisition. This is not a common feature on Mesh-tastic devices. Most have to get their time from the mesh or your phone, meaning it can take longer for it to lock onto GPS satellites and provide your position. Number five are the controls. The M1 has a rotary switch that acts as an on-off switch and also provides a way to dim the backlight when you have that turned on. There's a page button to cycle through the pages and the applets. There's a function button that allows you to send out a location ping to the network, enable or disable the backlight, turn on SOS mode, or put it into sleep mode. There's a GPS switch. This lets you easily share your location or save your battery with a physical quick and easy switch. You don't need to change your device configuration. This is a really nice feature. There's also LEDs for power indication and message receipt. So that's the Elecro ThinkNode M1. In addition to the differentiating features I mentioned, the M1 does have a speaker for notifications. Now in terms of battery life, when the GPS is off, I routinely get three plus days out of this device. When I have it on, I get between 30 and 36 hours. If you want a rugged mesh-tastic solution that has real off-grid attributes, this one is worth your consideration. I've decided to put this in my backup slash emergency kit in my truck. This is designed as a grab-and-go comms kit that provides backup VHF, UHF, and mesh-tastic options that are always with me. You never know when your primary is gonna fail. Hey, if this is something you're interested in, check out the description for an affiliate link. And thanks for watching, folks. I hope to see you on the mesh.